hello guys and welcome to another tutorial video in our sage cloud accounting series in this tutorial video we're going to focus on adding a customer on sage cloud accounting so we're going to utilize the following tutorial question which says you are required to create the following customers for big sales kenya the company that you created on Sage Cloud Accounting, which was the first, very first video in our Cloud Accounting series. So number one says you need to create the following customer accounts. The first one is Ms. Kambabi. The second one is Mr. Naidu. And the categories are there listed. Then you have all the information pertaining to that particular customer. And you have the price list as well. You need to allocate the price list, choose the price list for, for each of them. And then you have the terms as well, their credit limits. And lastly, you have their notes. We also need to attach the following notes on their accounts. So let's go back into our workspace and see how we're going to create that particular customer and perform all those that are needed. So you need to go to customers tab and click on add a customer. Then it's going to open a screen like this one. Then it's going to prompt you, prompt you to add the customer name, the category, opening balances and so forth. So now let's go ahead and create the first customer. So the first customer was Miss Kamba B. I'm just going to select this and copy and paste it on the name which is miss kambabi then the category we were told that we need to select cash so we're going to select cash and the next field you can see that is a cash sale customer so you can click on those and see what happens if you click on that so as a cash sale customer, it means that this person transact with the company at a cash point. Meaning that when the sale is transacted, the person will be paying cash. Now we're just going to untick that. Then we don't have the, any opening balances. Then on the right side, we have a credit limit. We will see if this person has a credit limit then you can see that the credit limit is 12,000 we're going to copy that go back there and paste then the customer vet number we will check if this person was we were provided with the vet number of this particular customer so you can see that we were not provided with any vet number so for the purposes of demonstrating we're just going to come up with any vet reference number then this person does not have any sales representative and then we'll check to see if this person accepts um electronic documents so nothing was said there so what happens with electronic doc invoices is that you need to obtain consent from that particular customer before you can tick on that the person accepts electronic invoices so we're just going to skip that as we were not provided with it 
then we're going to go into the pertinent details so first of all we need the delivery address I'm going to copy it as it is and I'll try to paste it here so this is what we should have this is what it should look like There we have our delivery address inserted then now we're going to go back and um, select the contact so the contact name we have Bennett so I'm just going to copy that paste it there Then we have mobile phone. Here's the mobile phone. We copy it as well. We need to copy it. And we have the mobile phone. We post it there. Then we are provided with the telephone as well. We copy it. We're going to paste it here then we have also the email of this person as provided then we're going to paste it on that now we are left with uh, adding the note selecting the price list and the terms now we will go into default settings statement distribution you're going to select whichever one that um, this person accepts or that your company the mode that comp your company uses So in this case, I'm just going to select only print. Then the price list, we need to select it there. We were told that the price list for this person is lay by. Then we need to select lay by. Then the tax, we are told that it will be standard rate at 15 percent then the due date for the payment we were told that it's going to be 90 days so it's going to be ninety days from the date of the invoice so we need to be careful here what the payment terms are so if it says that it's num a certain number of days you need to make sure that you have the, f the, the, the right uh, payment term because it's easy to, to fall in the trap you can see that we have different terms here date from date of the invoice from the current month or the date of the following month end of the current month and all of that so you need to be careful right there then we only left with the notes so we need to add the following notes for this person so we're going to go into the notes tab and we're going to click on this is the note 
that we adding so what is the subject of the node and then we're going to have our node there so here we have the messages of the nodes so I'm going to copy it and paste it here then we have another one here and we're going to paste it there as well then the subject we're just going to come up with any name of the subject we're just going to say payment terms then we're going to click on save so you're going to click on save and new if you want to add another um, customer so we're going to click on save and leave it here for today so we go we're just going to add this one customer because it will be the same procedure to add any more customers so that marks the end of our today's tutorial video if you haven't subscribed click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to be notified of new videos thanks for watching a like would be appreciated and don't forget to subscribe